Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 20th, I think. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But uh, Aquarius, let's see what we have going on for you uh, this week. And Aquarius, let's see here. Uh, and yes. All right. Uh, this looks pretty good already, Aquarius. I feel like some of you, this could be moving on to new love for sure. So some of you could be moving on to new love here. But let's keep this going and let's see what we get for you. All right. Uh, Aquarius, so let's see here. I feel like some of you could be feeling left out in the cold in love here, Aquarius. Um, so, you know, that could be uh, causing some issues here. But uh, you start off with the elephant spirit. I feel like if you've gotten out of a relationship or if you've left a relationship, that this is saying that, you know, this card here, the elephant spirit says, learn from the past. So I feel like for some of you, this is just saying kind of like learn from the past situation that you were in, in love. I feel like there's new love coming in here, Aquarius. So uh, I feel like if you're looking for love, there's probably someone new coming in with this card. Uh, in this first row, you have the Five of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Lovers. You know, Five of Cups is, of course, crying over spilt milk. But really, I feel like this could almost be regrets or sadness here, um, Aquarius. So we're going to clarify this at the end. Um, just putting this together, this is kind of weird, um, Aquarius. I feel like some of you, um, maybe you left someone here, Aquarius, and it's like you are having regrets over leaving them. Or it could be the other person as well. Of course, this you know, could be vice versa. Aquarius, take it however it resonates, right? But I feel like for some of you, there are definitely regrets in a situation. It's like I feel like there was a lot of hope in a situation with this um, Page of Pentacles and the Lovers. And you have the Two of Cups. It's almost like, a, I hate to say it, Aquarius, but this is almost like a twin flame situation going on here. I feel like that um, there could have been some sort of release or like a running or a runner. Somebody ran away is what I feel like saying. <laughs> so I feel that I'm not laughing at you, Aquarius. I'm laughing with you. Uh, so I feel like there could have been some sort of running away situation here. Again, we're going to clarify and dig into this. The Page of Pentacles, I feel like this could be something new coming in for you as well. I feel like there's been hope in your finances or you've had a lot of hope about your finances, but you have the Five of Pentacles here. It's almost like a false start type of feeling. You know, to me, the Ace of Wands reverse is more of a false start, um, but I am kind of getting those vibes of almost like a false start situation. So again, we're going to dig more into this in just a second. You have the release card here. Um, I almost feel like you're releasing something else. This is not a person for you here, Aquarius. I almost feel like you're just going through major changes with these cards. I feel like that release card is saying that it's like maybe you do have regrets over a relationship, but it's like maybe there are things that you had to let go of so that you could have a relationship or something like that. So I feel like that could be what's going on here. Uh, in this row here, you have the Two of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like you have been experiencing some burdens or some challenges in your life. For some reason, I feel like that Ten of Wands is like saying, don't suffer in silence. I feel like there is either a person or there are multiple people who could help you release some burdens. I definitely feel like some sadness here. I feel like regrets, like I said, um, but I feel like you're coming to the end of this. Um, this last row is actually pretty good, even with the Tower. Um, I always say the Tower is not necessarily a bad card. I have a very specific feeling about this Tower card as well, so uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. But I'm feel like you could very easily, if you are experiencing some challenges this week, I feel like you could very easily solve this situation. And again, we'll talk about it in just a minute. But I feel like some of you could be feeling left out in love here in this middle row. Um, so that could definitely be happening. Uh, for others, I feel like there needs to be some sort of healing 
So I feel like that this is probably not too bad. I feel like you could just be going through a healing. Uh, in your last row here, you have the Observer card. For some of you, I just think that this is saying that over the past two weeks or so, it feels like the last two weeks or so, maybe a little bit longer, you have just been taking a back seat. You've been more of an observer. I feel like you've been looking at what's going on in your life. Maybe you've j just been kind of seeing where things fall and where they don't fall or if things don't fall into place. It's like you've been waiting for some answers is what I feel with that card. In this row, you have the Tower, the Queen of Swords, and the Empress. The Empress is like going from winter to spring. Look at this. So again, this isn't that bad of a reading. Like I said, Aquarius, Five of Cups, Regret, Sadness, Five of Pentacles, Feeling Left Out in the Cold, Empress, going from winter to spring. Empress is a card of coming out of the cold. I feel that this tower is talking about confusion. The tower actually does represent the Tower of Babel, and it represents kind of maybe things becoming too comfortable in a relationship or in some other situation in your life, or things becoming too familiar. And that's kind of what I feel here. It's like maybe you do have regrets about leaving a relationship or something like that, but it's like maybe things kind of became too familiar. You know what I mean? It's like maybe there was no mystery in a situation with that tower card or maybe you were just feeling very restless and like you had to escape a situation with that tower card i feel like you could fix this situation whatever it is for you aquarius you have the queen of swords here which i feel like is your energy i feel like you're coming up in a very strong position here and you have the empress so i feel for some of you if you're like if you're wanting to talk to someone in a relationship for example i would just reach out queen of swords is very direct straightforward to the point. So I feel like you could be reaching out to someone with that Queen of Swords to clear things up, or maybe you want to fix things with this tower. Maybe you're trying to rebuild something with that tower card. Uh, for others, I just think this is a good thing. Um, I, the tower, it has a lightning bolt that's striking the top of the tower. The tower can just represent some sort of positive revelation. It can represent some sort of positive realization as well. You could just be understanding things from a whole other level. You could be learning something. You could be gathering information. You could be learning something that sets you free. For others, you could just be moving with the tower. The tower can just be a move. So I feel like for some of you, that could just be a moving situation. But Aquarius, let's clarify this and let's see if we can figure out uh, if your week is going to be a little bit more positive or what <laughs> here. Uh, between the five of cups here, yep, uh, and the two of cups, you have the star. Uh, the star is a turnaround uh, in love. I feel like you are realizing who your true love is here, Aquarius. Uh, so I feel like some of you could have had a falling out with like your true love, a twin flame, soulmate, whatever. I don't use the word twin flame lightly. I don't even know that. I, I don't even personally necessarily believe in the whole twin flame thing, but I feel like it's a very deep connection, right? Let's put it that way. Uh, I feel like you could easily turn this around. Six of hearts, is a card of a turnaround. Um, it's also a card of a wish as well. So I feel like you just need to, to make some sort of wish in love or you just need to kind of communicate in love here. Uh, between the Page of Pentacles here and the Five of Pentacles, you have the Child. For some of you, I feel like this is kind of saying that, um, you know, the child can represent children. So some of you could be dealing with children or a child with that card. It can also represent kind of something happening immature, like in an immature way. Um, I'm not saying that a person or you was immature. It's almost like the Net of Swords. You know, the Net of Swords can represent rushing or making a very hasty decision. I feel like something similar between these two cards here. It's like there was a hasty decision or a decision was made too quickly. Um, the good news is I don't even need to clarify between here because it's like you're slowing things down with that Queen of Swords. Uh, between the Lovers and the Ten of Wands, Queen of Clubs, this is called the Snake. I feel like some of you you know, the, the snake is a card of seduction. I feel like for some of you, maybe you were seduced into a situation or maybe someone else was seduced like away from you in love here, Aquarius. And that ten of club, the Ten of Wands here is saying that this caused maybe a lot of issues or a lot of problems, or it's, it's almost like someone tasted the forbidden fruit is what I feel like saying here with snake card. So some of you could have been dealing with like a third party type situation or a cheating situation with that snake card. Uh, between the two of cups here and the tower, you have the seven of hearts. The seven of hearts is a card called the tree, and it just represents like your family tree or your roots, like where you come from. So again, some of you could be moving uh, simply with those cards. 
Between the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, yes, you know who your true love is. What did I say? You have the Six of Hearts here. We're going to go over the diagonals and the lines here at the end, Aquarius. But the Animus card is like your true love. This is the Ace of Hearts. So I feel like you know who your family is. You know who you want to have children with if you're looking for love, if you want to have children. If you don't, then, you know, you don't need to take that part. Uh, but if you want love, this could be a very significant relationship here, someone you will have a family with. Or again, if you don't want a family, this is just like a very deep connection. Uh, between the Ten of Wands here and the Empress, you have the bouquet. I feel like some of you could be almost making an offer here to a person, or they could be making an offer to you here. It's like there's a lack of clarity is what's popping into my head with this card here, Aquarius. I almost feel like you could be interested in someone or they're interested in you, but it's like there's a need to potentially jump into darkness. I feel like there's a need for you or your, this person to take some sort of leap of faith is kind of what I'm getting. The Queen of Spades is a card of kind of faking it till you make it in certain ways uh, in the playing card reading system, not the Lenormand system. And I'm kind of, that's popping into my head. It's kind of like saying that I feel like someone uh, needs to kind of uh, take a risk here almost. Uh, in your top row here, what do you know? What do you know? You have the Ace of Clubs. This is you marrying your soulmate for sure. Uh, this is called the Ring. This is the Ace of Clubs. So I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe you thought you lost someone here and it's like maybe you're getting them back. It's like your true love, the person you will marry with this Ace of Clubs. Seven of Hearts. This is amazing. Like I said, you know, looked bad in the beginning, Aquarius. I feel like this is something you thought you lost, but I feel like this is something that is either returning or you're returning to it. Ace of Clubs is the card of things coming full circle. So it definitely could be like an engagement or marriage with that card. Uh, in this middle row, what do you know? Again, you have the Ten of Hearts. This is called the Dog. This is a card of loyalty, someone who is loyal to you. And uh, the Ten of Hearts is an amazing love card. Look at, I mean, this is insane. <laughs> Aquarius is what I would say here. This is like a family right here. So Ten of Hearts, loyalty, family, the people around you. It's also a card of fortune after difficulty as well. And in your bottom row, yes, you have the Eight of Diamonds. This card is called the Key. This card says you have the keys necessary to open the doors that you want. Again, if you're feeling regrets, if you're feeling sadness, then I would get moving here, Aquarius, because I feel like you are the one that holds the keys to make something happen. Uh, if the other, if it's the other person, it could be the other person that is also feeling these feelings. Uh, this is like a true love reading uh, here, Aquarius. Again, Ace of Hearts, the Animus card. It doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to. This is like your true love. I feel like either you need to open up or they need to open up to you. Queen of Swords, you know? It's like someone needs to be very direct, open and honest in this situation. Ten of Hearts, the ace of clubs marriage so you can't make this stuff up aquarius um if like plain and simple down and dirty i would just say that this reading is basically saying that i feel like you feel you lost something i feel like you are getting something back that you thought you lost um and it doesn't have to be love again this could be a job it could be an opportunity for a lot of you um so again uh, even outside of love this is an amazing reading the ace of clubs is a card of like total abundance so you know you went from feeling left out in the cold with this five of pentacles in this tower like some sort of tower moment to your outcome being total abundance the ten of hearts is like networking or building a network of people around you in work or business so amazing and then eight of diamonds material success on the horizon so i would definitely say this is like a turnaround type reading for you aquarius definitely a lot of improvements i like this a lot <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching aquarius and definitely enjoy your week